A glimpse into the future of the Oregon coast can be seen by viewing king tides. The cliffs of Shore Acres State Park are a great place to safely observe this natural event. King tides are the highest high tides of the year that happen under a few circumstances. The position of the sun and moon have great impact on our tides, but because the moon is much closer, it has more of an effect than the sun. The moon can be full or new for a king tide. The most extreme high tide happens when the sun, moon, and earth are closest and aligned. At this position, the sun and moon's gravitational pulls have the highest effect on our ocean. There are a few king tides each year during winter. Each king tide event lasts a few days with a daily high tide much higher than usual. The low tides on these days are also extra low. The Coos Bay area has some of the best wave watching on our coast. Sunset Bay, Shore Acres, and Cape Arago State Parks all sit right next to each other. Shore Acres is well known for waves that make a huge splash while crashing into rocks. Part of what causes that is a deeper than usual ocean depth. While the ground typically inclines towards land, here it declines towards land, giving the waves less resistance. All the big ocean rocks show the eastward decline that is happening underwater. A cliffside hike from Sunset Bay to Shore Acres gives many good views of the tide. Cape Arago Lighthouse can be viewed from this trail. If interested, I made a full-length documentary about our state's lighthouses, linked in the description. In fact, this old shot from the documentary shows a big difference when compared to the king tide. Notice the lower rocks and people on the bottom half of the shot. Comparison of tides, especially with a king tide, shows a drastic difference. King tides are the highest tides, but that doesn't necessarily mean the biggest waves. Storms and big swells are needed for the most violent wave crashing. On this January king tide, the weather was pretty calm. King tide only happens a couple times a year, so we can't always choose the perfect stormy day. But these tides are still interesting to observe, because this is what an everyday tide will look like in the future. Shore Acres viewing area is often crowded with photographers and wave watchers. The cliffside walkways and guardrails provide a safe way to watch the ocean. This spot is heavily photographed and for good reason. Waves dramatically crash against the rocks and cliffs, sometimes going high enough to soak the visitors above.
Erosion is an important effect of the changing tides. As erosion continues, we lose beaches, ecosystems, and infrastructure to the ocean. The study of king tides can help to prepare for changes to our coastline. While the high up cliffs are mostly safe, it is important to mention safety. All the usual beach safety recommendations should be taken with even more caution on a king tide. A sneaker wave can come in and surprise us any time before and after high tide. Always have an escape route planned and never turn your back to the ocean. The ocean is slowly rising each year, but that small amount is hard to see. The king tide is the best visual to show us what a rising ocean looks like. Big crashing waves can be fun to watch, but king tides can be noticed anywhere on the coast. Any surfaces that get covered by the tides are of interest. This January king tide was the third and final one for winter of 2023. One day these super high tides will be everyday tides and people will need to adapt. I encourage you to go out and document the next king tide on our coast to show us what's to come.